the best moment uh, for surfing or and for El Salvador for the country ever. No? If you come in in 2004 now, okay, close to 20 years, you we confirmed the 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 all the positive change of the of this country. We are live here from Bitcoin Beach and we have Kareen with us tonight from Alas Pro Tours. Uh, it's the Latin American Pro Surf Tour. I think I met Kareen, was it two years ago at the contest uh, in Punta three, Roca? Three or three. four years. I okay. Think. Yes, in Punta Roca. And uh, this last year, actually, when we did our trip down to Peru, we were working with a, a Bitcoin project there and we, we stayed at your place for the first few days. So I was... Uh, Where you live is lovely. I mean, it's uh, the you. beaches there were great. The water's a little cold for me. <laughs> I'm my nice waves, uh, nice waves, but I'm I'm too fat and old to get in a wetsuit. So uh, <laughs> after El Salvador, I'm 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 kind of spoiled here. So um, tell us a little history on the Latin American Pro Tour. Were you the one that founded that, and how did it come about? Oh, okay. Um, first, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure for me to talk about. Alas Pro Tour and uh, Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin Beach was was amazing for us. It was amazing experience and 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 surfing with you in Peru was a great too. And we create uh, Alas Pro Tour 20 in 2002, um, but uh, it's it's nice because the first. Uh, idea was in El Salvador in, in 1998 because our friend El Chute ran the competition Latin American Championships but was uh, for teams you know it's selections like I like ISA games and you um, were surfing I, in that one yes right? I've surfed in, in shortboard and longboard and and was uh, and you won the longboard right? I, yes I won the longboard and uh, in semifinals in shortboard and And it's my first time in El Salvador, and, and, and it's the first time, and forever, is, I, I love El Salvador. Uh, many years uh, it was my secret spot. Uh, many, many years I uh, surfing alone in La Punta, Punta Roca. Um, and then in, in the, all the guys come, come here, uh, go to the Pan American Games in Argentina in, in 1999. Was uh, you know is the first uh, uh, meeting about the create the association of Latin American. Uh, where, where in Argentina? Did in in Mar del Plata. Mar del okay. Plata. And and then create the association in 2000 and start the the competition pro tour the, the league uh, in 2002. The first was in Peru. The second Ecuador. Third in Uh, Dominican Republic and then Venezuela, and the next year included uh, Panama and and El Salvador. It and was, that's because you were pushing yes, for El yeah, Salvador, right? Yeah, yes, and yes, of course. What, what year was that? Uh, in, in 2004. Okay. In, I think that was in, the first year I came to El Salvador. Was 2004. Yes. So, yeah. Wow. I was still very early days. So yeah. you, you were wow. you were ahead of all the other because there was no other. Surf tours that were no, holding contests here, no, right? It's the yeah. Yes, first time. They know. were all too scared. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's scared. And, but for me, you know that when you have a perfect waves, you don't scare you. You only sleep and surfing. Sleep, eat, and surf. And perfect <laughs> water day. too. Yes. Like no wetsuit. No, no yeah. waves. Warm water all the time, and it, it was friends, friendly locals, and and have a many many friends here, and El Chute again, and. Uh, was where, where was the first contest that you guys had here? The the first contest here? Yeah. It, what, what break? In, in in I think it was in July. In but was it at Punta Roca? In Punta Roca. Was, uh, Punta, in Punta Roca. Roca. Okay. Punta Roca. Yes, of course. Yeah. I My But I mean, then Punta Roca <laughs> was 
That yes, was when you crazy. that was when you heard the stories of people <laughs> walking back up the beach naked because somebody stole yes, their yes, yes, their yes, trunks yes, from yes, them and yes. their surfboards. Sometimes, and, sometimes we, we have a problems with you know, but uh, in the context is no problem because have uh, police and militaries and support uh, the minister for, minister of tourism um, and was safe, but. To the end of the contest was a problem <laughs> because uh, many people stay here more more days because the, the waves was amazing. Yeah, and me too. And but uh, I, the the most important is we. I am a, como se dice testigo, testificate te yeah, testimony yeah. of the 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 change of the of uh, all the all all is a positive change of, uh, around the surf here in El Salvador. I remember the first, like uh, in 2005 or six, the minister of tourism uh, called me and we have a meet, meeting with him and the minister and talk about, uh, I, I know that we have a excellent wave, Punta Roca, what do you think? Yes, it's an amazing wave, but why don't happen, don't, don't, don't come in nothing, no, no, nobody come, you know? Why? Because it's so scary, it's <laughs> so dangerous, it's the, the, this, is, um, is, is street is the most dangerous around the world. You know, it's crazy street. And what are you doing? You you can put uh, a police state there, and he put the police state. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I remember hearing yes. stories that people because there's a cemetery there that people yeah. would hide in the cemetery and rob surfers yes, yes, when they yes, were. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was much cra uh, more crazy for the gringos. <laughs> you know, it's, it's different for Latin guys because uh, many, many bandits co confuse it because maybe it's local guys or no, you know. Um, but uh, now all the history changed. Yeah. You know? Now is the best moment uh, for surfing or, and for El Salvador, for the country ever. No? If you come in, in 2004, now, okay, close to 20 years, you we confirmed the 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 all the positive change of the of this country. I mean, I feel safer here than almost anywhere else in the world now. I mean, it's it's been amazing, yes. even in the yes. last five years, the yes. change. So you've seen the whole sweeping change, but yes. especially it's really accelerated in the last five years. Yes. Um, and you kind of led the way for now there's a number of other tours that yeah. you know they they had to let you show them how to do it and now they're following in your footsteps here so that's great for the country it's great to see um and you know this week i think there's all the top pro surfers are here in el salvador yeah. which you would have never imagined five years ago yes and this this year is uh, for me is um, is the only is the first country ever to run six international big contests in one year. You know, you have six uh, contests now. Uh, finish on the second. The tomorrow we start the third. In one month, you know, three international. I mean, big and, and for a small and, country, I don't think. It, any what? other small countries have no, anything no, no, like no, that, no, right? No, no, small or bigger. No, no, next, is there no, any no, other no, countries in Latin America that have? Never happened. Never. It's ever. It's the first ever around the world. Six big, con big contests. You know, World Surfing Games is uh, 61 or 63 countries. And then uh, World Surf League, the first, uh, uh, you know, it's the first division is the top level. And then uh, we have a uh, Central American games include surfing and then the World Surf League uh, Lombard and then Alas Pro Tour uh, finish every year in, here in El Salvador. The finish tour here is that we have a contract with the government about close the the league. The season. Every, yes, the season. In, and, in, and this last year, I think we have uh, some, some pictures of it or video, but uh, this last year, you guys gave some of the prize money in Bitcoin, which yeah, I think was, you were the, the first tour yes. to, to do that. Other issue uh, for us was was amazing. And thank you so much, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Beach, because uh, it, it was the first time ever, I think, uh, too, is other uh, uh, story about the, 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 the electronic money 
around the world. I don't remember if other con other contests around the world. I think it, this is the first yes. like pro one we did. Yes, <laughs> we've done some small, just local yeah, yeah, contests yes. in Here, El Zante, but, but, but international, but in pro, international yes. I think it was. Sure, I think maybe of, sure. of any sport was one of the first that to do that. So you guys were breaking ground there. Yeah, um, and, and and the first time the kids was uh, you know. Hey, what what is this? Uh, how do you do uh, Bitcoin Beach? And uh, I I don't like you know. But the next the last year, everyone hey hey, hey I want to Bitcoin please. <laughs> <laughs> I have my wallet you know. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's very good. Uh, it's very good because you have a uh, you have free for you can use your money. Yeah, it's a big opportunity for the young guys to change their mind you know about the money and and the investment and this i love uh, bitcoin and and many years ago and so and when did you when did you first start hearing about bitcoin was it me before me? No, El, no, El me six years ago okay yes before before mid year yes and and what no, what was it, your thought when you started hearing I, about el salvador adopting well, was it <laughs> When when I yeah for us you, you know I when I when I I understand the 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 mission of the government about the Bitcoin every day check my wallet wow <laughs> and and uh, I want to to use the the cashier the uh, ATM 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 <laughs> and uh, it's for us it's very good uh, we love Bitcoin it's in El Salvador is amazing you know and uh, for for uh, for me and Alas Pro Tour uh, we we can uh, promote uh, the use the electronic money around the Latin America and of course around the world because it's, it's liberty is is free for for you can use your money and and uh, is safe i think is the future yeah. is the future well i think even for your athletes that are moving from one country to another to have something that's that's digital and that can be used everywhere you don't have yes. to exchange it bitcoin is the same rather whether you're in el salvador or brazil and so i think actually going forward we're going to see more and more pro tours adopt it even just for the logistical reasons that it's much easier it's to very, pay your yes, athletes. Yes, it's very easy. It's very yeah. easy for us. It's, it's easy for pay, easy for use. Um, it, it's fast, you know. Uh, uh, it's the future. Yeah. For us, it's the future, and, and uh, we believe totally. So I think what we need to do is we need to get one of the Bitcoin companies out here to sponsor the tour, well, be the I primary hope, sponsor. <laughs> Where's the and, camera? And. Uh, <laughs> And yes, do all the course. prize money in Bitcoin. So uh, I don't know, Cash App or Bitfinex or, you know, Swan or one of the or Strike, one of those companies out there, because a lot of them are looking right now to expand in Latin America. And so surfing is, is such an aspirational sport. It's, yes, it's aspirational and it's, and it's a free, you know, it's, it's uh, aspirational and inspirational and and uh, you, you environment, you know, we, we it's a is now is the the how you know is is the tendency tendency is 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 the way for the future yeah. you know everybody talk about the the nature the, the and everybody food, can participate you know, in it too yeah it's the, not the sport you don't need super expensive yes, equipment you don't yes. have to pay for a court you have the free liberty, free waves it's yeah it's connected yeah. you know no no more this one in the water is the ocean is is our air or oxygen for for the world and it's so it's a passionate it's a passionate sport but it's lifestyle yeah it's very it's the best moment uh, in the history about surfing and and it's it's similar to to the bitcoin or other electronic money well i think it's similar it because it's similar philo every, philosophy no? yeah everybody can participate from people at the bottom of the economic ladder to the wealthy, they're all on the same playing field when you're out in the ocean. Yeah. And it's the same with Bitcoin, that you don't, nobody has an advantage over somebody else. So I could really see those two things coming together. And I think that that's a great sport to kind of spread the use throughout Latin America. So 
Hopefully, yeah. hopefully we'll get some sponsors watching this that will jump on board with you guys. Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for the companies, for 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 all, because, you know, the, the Alas Pro Tour is, is like a, pro, a social program, too. We help many, many kids around Latin America, poor people to develop surfing and introduce to the professional uh, surfing uh, when you try to to move to the the World Surf League or or to live about surfing. It's not, not only for the competition. We, we have a all the industry, no shapers, coaches, um, guides, many uh, surf schools all around the industry around uh, around the surf. Uh, we, every 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 contest we move uh, uh, a lot of money around the, the co this contest. The, the, you know the the last contest in 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 Las Flores, if you have a, a video, I and think we have. this was it was amazing ways, but for Las Flores it was good because it, we moved like a hundred people. Uh, each each people uh, stay one week, ten days. It's like a one thousand five hundred US dollar for each. It's like a close to million dollars in one week in this place. It's very good for the people, for the community for surfers and now for tourism, of course, because all the people back, no, every time I, I'm, I'm from Peru, you know, in Peru, we have a Machu Picchu is uh, the most amazing uh, place around the world is uh, um, the place everybody has to see when they yes, go. Yeah, but, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and, and, but when you go to, uh, if you live in Peru, you go only when you finish uh, school, you, you travel is a tradition, and 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 the next when you marry, you know, when you, when, with your wife or maybe with your family, but never back, back again. One, two times, three times. I I've been there five, four times of my life. But for surfing, when you stay in a good place, uh, nice hotels, nice waves, safe country. You back again, again. I, I come for 25 years in El Salvador, two times a year, you know, 50 times of my life. Uh, in Machu Picchu, only five times here, 50 times. It's, it's, this is a, uh, now I, I think surfing you're, is the I think best you're, you're more Salvadoran than Peruvian at this yes, point. Yes, maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we can, we, we try to move more, more <laughs> times. Every, the last two years, uh, my family and me, stay here like a month, every year, one week more, one week more. And we love El Salvador and, and, and now is the best moment for El Salvador, for surfing, it's, it's a good moment. Yeah. No, it's, and I love what you guys have done for the, the country kind of yeah. pushing that, you know, a lot of these other tours that have come wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys breaking ground. And I know when we were in Peru, this last year, just talking to you and your guys' vision for this being the kids that maybe they can't afford to enter the contest. You guys find sponsors for them. You find ways to make sure that no matter what their economic level, mm -hmm. if they put the work in and have the skills that they can participate. So I love that mm -hmm. that vision, that heart behind it. Um, Thank you. That's that's it's what makes it special. Very good. Yeah. Uh, see, yes, uh, for us is. And we have um, different plans for the next years and, and every year finish here. We have a very good relations with relations with the Minister of Tourism and the, the government. Uh, Minister Sir Morena is amazing. Is She's amazing. done amazing things for He's the a, country. the best friend of surfing <laughs> now. Yeah. And um, they, they, the, the change of the, the government and the, this country about for surfing, you know, surf cities have project is, is ever, is the big, biggest project for surfing around the world is never happened. And, and we, every year we, when we, we come uh, uh, every year, we, 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 we look change every, every month is, is so fast. The, 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 the government do it here, you know, all new, new streets, more illumination, more water, more hotels, uh, more restaurants. Was crazy. Uh, it's amazing moment for El Salvador, and 
for us, a very good moment for surfing. And, and we believe in this, this country, in this government. Uh, Bukele is amazing. He's, now he's a rock star in the political in the <laughs> I think everywhere political. in Latin America, yes, when I yes, travel, yes. people are always like, oh, Salvador, Bukele. Bukele. Yeah, Bukele, Bukele, yeah. Bukele yes, have a lot of fans. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes it's, it's amazing. And, and he is a visionary, you know? He's a visionary and, uh, for surfing and Bitcoin, you know? The both. Yeah, got them both <laughs> together. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, I'm guessing they, the government here is much more supportive than than other places where yes, you guys operate. Yes, yes. And the contest, you know, because we stay, we have, uh, I, my other role is uh, I am a Brazil president of ISA and travel a lot for the last 15 years, travel a lot of world, uh, around the world, sorry. And, and, we ran events in France, Japan, the first world, but it's a, a it's very good organization. But in here in El Salvador, uh, all is first class. All the contest is first class. Put put a lot of money in the contest in in all around the contest. No, no, we we don't need uh, stadiums, you know, because yeah. the stadium is the ocean, it's free. But uh, they tell me it's, it's like a, if you have a party in your house. The party is top level, high level is for you are my my guest and it's, it for us is is a pleasure come every year to, to El Salvador because it's all the the things it, if you back to the plane the the guys receive in the in the gate you know oh, the airport here is so the easy airport, to move through it's close to. Uh, Catch your hand in the, in the middle of playing, you know. It's, yeah. Hey, with the with a sign with your name, and uh, you have a security police for the same for the president of ISA, the same for the judge, the same for each country. Every every country have a a, a, a bus and security. It's amazing. It's, for us, it's, it's a pleasure every year back to Salvador. Well, I think they're visionaries because a lot of countries don't think, oh, it's just a surf contest. But no, surfing drives so much travel and not just surfers, the families they bring with them, the the people that just want to, you know, watch the surfing. So it it really we've seen it happening around the world. A lot of times surfers are the ones that open up new tourist destinations and El Salvador gets it. They understand yes. how valuable that is. Yes. And the same with thing with Bitcoin. They understand the same thing there. Yeah. So it's, 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 you, it, when we would meet with the different government ministers, you kind of expect they won't get it because most government people in the world don't. But when you speak to them here, you see them right away. They're like, they understand the potential there. So yeah. it's so amazing to see kind of the transformation that's happened here yeah. in El Salvador. And I think we're still in the early stages of it. I think 10 years from now, it's going to, you won't even recognize how it is now. It's just gonna keep snowballing and getting better. They are uh, young, young people. Yeah, the uh, young guys. The government is very young, so fast, so um, um, executive. It, you know, it's, it is, it, if if they have a, a, a proposed, it's every everything is for the yesterday, not for tomorrow. No, now. Yep. Twenty four. For seven, 24 hours for, for seven. No, months. I've seen them yeah. like show up for meetings at like nine o'clock at night because yes. they had other meetings all day, but they don't quit at five yeah. o'clock. They just keep going. It's it's pretty amazing. Yes, so. I send a message. You know, when I travel to Europe, send a message. Only oh, I don't forget. I send a message to Morena. 4 a.m. here, and she responds. <laughs> hey, sleep, please. Sorry, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh. But this is the one of the reasons the Salvador move forward yeah. every year more fast. So for companies that might be interested in finding out about sponsoring, what's what's the best way for them to contact you through the website or? Uh, yes, I, uh, my, my um, uh, personal contact is in the website. Okay. Uh, yes, in the website is my, my, my name, Karin Sierralta. Gmail or Karin Alas Pro Tour is Karin uh, Alas Pro Tour .com or my, my phone is and details stay in, in the web our website Alas Pro Tour or Alas Latin Tour and 
Are you on it's Twitter easy. at you, all? You, you, or? Yes, I have Twitter. Okay, so they can find. It's easy. What's if your you, What's your Twitter handle? Uh, Karin Sierra. Okay. Name. Yes. Okay. I yeah, um, no no use more, but I, I use uh, Instagram. Or, okay, so they can find uh, you on Instagram yeah, or the website. Yeah, but uh, if you find in Google. Uh, Phone, phone Karin Sierra is the same <laughs> to the last 25 years, okay. the, the, the same number. Easy, <laughs> easy. Um, um, uh, I think uh, we have a very, very nice project for the future because many kids around Latin America want to come to Alas Pro Tour. And if you, if they have a help for Bitcoin or other electronic money you know all the companies to bitcoin yeah um is no we, we've we, got to get we, some bitcoin we, companies on board to sponsor this tour so that's my mission right now perfect and perfect. then i also know you have some uh facilities in peru if people are looking to plan a surf trip do you have a house that you rent out there or do you want to give we, information about that or uh, sorry or is that a secret no, no, sorry, I don't understand. That your your house that you have that you rent out, that you rent rooms out in, right? Don't you have something in Peru? Yes, yes. Uh, at Punta? Yes. We, no, in Peru, we have a, a Punta Sur house or Alas, Pro, Alas house. Okay. Yeah, we have a, a room. So or, can they find? how can they find out about yes, that? Yes, of they... course. And and we can deal with the High Performance Center in Punta Roca. You've been there. Is the biggest around the world. It, it was amazing. I was amazing. blown it's, away. It's a public, you know, we, we, you can stay with, with my surf camp in Punta Hermosa, two kilometers distance to high performance, or you can stay in the high performance center. And it's the biggest around the world. I mean, didn't you say it was like $20 million or something uh, no, crazy no, like that? 10, 10 million. 10 million. Dollars. Okay. 10 million dollars and, um, and it's biggest because uh, they included 34 rooms. And four rooms for totally access for chairs, and um, and I mean, you guys pool. had an amazing gym, pool, yes, yes. a foam pit yes, for yes. to learn skate tricks, and in front uh, of the it. most consistent wave, in yeah. Punta Rocas, uh, this beach is, was the first uh, contest ever in 1960, 1965, the oh, first really? ISA contest. Uh, they, uh, <laughs> Yes, the um, the foundation of ISA was in in 1965. Wow. The first rules I didn't and the know first it was president. That old. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, close to 60 years. Wow. Um, and well, if anybody's planning a trip to Peru, definitely uh, check those things out. I don't know if there's anything else that we missed that you want to touch on or that you want to tell people about. Yeah, if, if, not, not only in Peru, we 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 have many. Uh, many uh, friends around latin america of course in peru uh, not in my house but uh, you have a lot of of uh, point breaks peru is the lands of the left yeah. waves the long left you know chicama bermejo mancora lobitos uh, we have uh, three thousand kilometers with include waves all all the peruvian land and uh, is so consistent it's like salvador it's the same swell southwest come first to peru and then el salvador but we receive in the north swell to come to hawaii in four days arrive to peru and we have uh, many many uh, surfing con uh, spots and many friends in peru if you want to visit peru and surfing around different waves we can help uh, i love to uh, i i love uh, host to all the, the people come to, to Peru and, and other countries around Latin America because we travel with Alas Pro Tour, uh, Argentina, Chile, Peru, Ecuador, Panama, El Salvador, Guatemala, Nicaragua. This year, back to, to Guatemala before uh, La Flores, before Punta Mango in November. So you guys it's are having new, a contest new, in news. Guatemala? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It was, was good back to Guatemala. Um, then go Mexico, Puerto Rico, back to Mexico, uh, Puerto Rico again. Uh, it's it's a good year for Alas Pro Tour, and the next year, uh, um, I tell you, is uh, we have a different projects, uh, content projects for t TV, and nice. it's a it's a good for a sponsor, good for kids because if we have uh, more sponsors, we we can give more prize money and change many lives.
It is a, our goal is change their life for the kids for uh, um, um, true surfing. You know? Well, perfect. So we'll, we'll be we'll be pushing on those uh, Bitcoin companies to to see if we can give them the sponsor. We also uh, are working on a with with Motive. It's a Bitcoin project in Peru. I think we mentioned when we were there. They're trying to do launch like a travel with Bitcoin initiative, and so we're trying to get more Bitcoiners to go down there. And so we'll, we'll have to connect with uh, some of the surfing opportunities. No, thank you so much for your your support to the social projects or Bitcoin companies we i i am uh, uh i'm proud of you because i i i saw many for the last two three years here in el salvador and i received news from your projects in peru and thank you for your work and and your focus in the poor people and change many lives with Bitcoin companies. No, oh, it's been a pleasure for us. Well, I, <laughs> I appreciate you taking some time away from the, the contest to come sit here with us. And uh, hopefully we'll be talking again next year with your uh, talking about how you guys have uh, gotten a big sponsor that and all the sponsorship I money will so. be in uh, Bitcoin. <laughs> so we'll look forward to that. Thank you, Mike. And thank you, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Beach, all your partners. Um, I hope so. Um, it's, it's a good moment for surfing, good moment for Bitcoin. And I hope uh, we continue partners here and other countries. Perfect. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Gracias.